everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Saturday the 15th of May. We begin our time together with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Loving God, we want to know you better, to learn more of your ways and of your will, to mature in faith and to grow in understanding. We thank you for everything that makes that possible. We thank you for your words, the testimony of Scripture to your dealings across history, the unfolding of your purpose and your love revealed in Christ. We thank you also for those who instruct in faith, speaking or writing of you, those whose insights, scholarship or experience are able to deepen and to enrich our commitment. Encourage us to make use of all the resources you have given and to open our ears and minds to what you would say to us. We have understood a little. Help us to learn more. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amos chapter 4 Hear this word, you cows of Bashan on Mount Samaria. You women who oppress the poor and crush the needy, and say to your husbands, Bring us some drinks. The Sovereign Lord has sworn by His Holiness, The time will surely come when you will be taken away with hooks, the last of you with fish hooks. You will each go straight out through breaches in the wall, and you will be cast out towards Harmon, declares the Lord. Go to Bethel and sin. Go to Gilgal and sin yet more. Bring your sacrifices every morning, your tithes every three years. Burn leavened bread as a thank offering and brag about your free will offerings. Boast about them, you Israelites, for this is what you love to do, declares the Sovereign Lord. I gave you empty stomachs in every city and lack of bread in every town, yet you have not returned to me, declares the Lord. I also withheld rain from you when the harvest was still three months away. I sent rain on one town, but withheld it from another. One field had rain, another had none, and dried up. People staggered from town to town for water, but did not get enough to drink. Yet you have not returned to me, declares the Lord. Many times I struck your gardens and vineyards, destroying them with blight and mildew. Locusts devoured your fig and olive trees, yet you have not returned to me, declares the Lord. I sent plagues among you, as I did to Egypt. I killed your young men with the sword, along with your captured horses. I filled your nostrils with the stench of your camps, yet you have not returned to me declares the Lord. I overthrew some of you as I overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You were like a burning stick snatched from the fire, yet you have not returned to me, declares the Lord. Therefore, this is what I will do to you, Israel, and because I will do this to you, Israel, prepare to meet your God. He who forms the mountains, who creates the wind, and who reveals his thoughts to mankind, who turns dawn to darkness and treads on the heights of the earth. The Lord God Almighty is his name. We return to thoughts of justice and peace now as we follow the example set for us by God. As we sing together, the right hand of God is writing in our land.
Psalm 131 My heart is not proud, Lord. My eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. But I have calmed and quieted myself. I am like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child, I am content. Israel, put your hope in the Lord, both now and for evermore. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Living, Living God, we like to believe that our faith is firm and unshakable, but we know that the reality is often different, that in all kinds of ways our relationship with you can flounder until we fall away from you completely. Alert us to all the ways that this can happen, all the pressures, the temptations, all the circumstances that can draw us from your side, gradually weakening our faith until it is no longer fit for purpose. Help us to test it carefully and prayerfully, recognising where it is lacking and taking the necessary steps to strengthen it once more so that we may be as close to you today, tomorrow and always, as the day we first believed. For we pray for the sake of Christ. Amen. <laughs>